Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for dropping by my channel and checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience or the day that I met Toby Mac. Uh, so those of you guys uh, that are into the Christian realm, when you listen to Christian music, contemporary Christian music, you know who Toby Mac is. He's one of the main headliners for lots of uh, Christian tours like Winter Jam and Winter Fest. Uh, he's on the radio all the time and he's just one of the top Christian musical acts out there today. Uh, well, a few years ago, I got to meet him at, backstage at this Winter Jam concert. So Winter Jam is a big tour that they uh, have uh, that a lot of youth groups go to and a lot of churches. And so I had taken my youth group to Winter Jam and they had let the leaders go backstage, the youth leaders, they get to go backstage. And uh, Toby Mack had talked with us and uh, gave his testimony of how he came to know Christ uh, at a church camp. So this video is um, where I got to film him and I was standing right in front of him. So I got a pretty good shot. And uh, it, it's pretty interesting just to hear his story, um, somebody famous, and, and how they got to know uh, Jesus Christ. So check this out. Here's his testimony and um, the day I met Toby Mack. In the long, skinny hallway, Doc. <laughs> what up in the back? How y'all feeling? <laughs> hey, thank you guys so much for coming out, man. It's uh, our honor that you would come out here and hang out with us tonight and bring some students. So whether you brought a, a van full, a truck full, or a bus full, or a pinto full, we are happy that you're here. And, uh, you know, I think, when I think about you guys, you know, I just wanna say it's, it's an honor that you guys would, I, the way I look at it is we're partnering on tonight. Um, you know, and, and if I were my partner, I would wanna know, thinking about your shoes, I would wanna know, is this, you know, is this for real to these guys? Is this just some big entertainment thing, or is this for real? And uh, I can tell you, I would not have left home this weekend if I wasn't about to give some people Jesus out there. That's, I mean, that's just where it's coming from for me. My hope, my prayer for tonight is that they are entertaining, that they are worn out, that people get an amazing show. But the heart of this show and my hope and my prayer is that your students' eyes and even your eyes and my eyes would turn toward Jesus. That, that's the hope of tonight. Um, I can say that I'm proud and, and happy to partner with you because I, when I was 13 years old, my mom would drag us to church every Sunday and I didn't quite get it. I didn't go to youth group, we just went to big church and you know, I would sit there and I felt like that guy behind the box was yelling at me. And, uh, but at 13, this guy came up and tapped me on the shoulder after church and he asked me if I wanted to go to this camp. Uh, he kind of described it as a basketball camp, i got to be honest with you. Uh, I looked at my mom, and she was like, yeah, get him out of the house for the summer, dog. Uh, so um, I signed up, and four of my friends signed up with me. And about two months later, we found ourselves in this van driving down the road with this, who we found out was the new volunteer youth pastor to go to this camp. I remember we'd get there, we grabbed our bags, got out of the van, started walking, we thought we were going to our cabin or whatever, but we stopped at this outdoor pavilion. This dude gets up and starts preaching for like two hours. My boys were looking at me like, yo, this is the strangest basketball camp I've ever been to in my life. We got bamboozled, you know what I mean? <laughs> we did finally get to play basketball, we got to swim, we got to do all kinds of things, but each night, what I took away with me was this. Each night, that youth pastor would sit on the floor of our cabin with just me and my friends and him and he would open up God's word and he would tell about his life tell us about the mistakes he had made and how he would found his faith in Jesus and for the first time in my life man the Bible just started getting at me I'd heard it many times I'd read it before but it never really hit me like it did on that floor with that dude um and I gotta say, it was, it was Friday night, and uh, I, we had just gotten up off the floor after reading the Bible, and I just remember my heart was pounding, and I, I got my sleeping bag, and I zipped it to the very top, and I just laid there for like 20 minutes, 
And finally, I got the courage up, and I unzipped my bag, and I walked in the other room, and I woke up that youth pastor. And I said, hey, man, can you tell me a little bit more about Jesus? And he read some verses to me, and he asked me if I'd like to make Jesus the Lord of my life. And I said, yes. And right there at that bedside, he, he led me to the Lord. So, you guys, I, I so appreciate what you do. You have no idea how much I respect you and appreciate what you're pouring into these students because I was, I was one of them. And I know you're in the trenches, and I know it's, I know it's got to be hard sometimes, but I want to encourage you. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'm jealous of your job in the trenches with these students. You know, you, you go, like... You go through the hard times with them, but man, it must be such a pleasure, or such a thrill uh, to see that some of these students come out on the other side, men and women of God. That's amazing. And uh, so thank you for what you do, for real. And uh, my prayer tonight is that in partnering with you, some of your students will be absolutely falling in love with Jesus tonight. God bless you guys. I appreciate you. Guys. One more time, make some noise for Toby Mack.